Hello everyone, welcome to the Bob Wall Show. On the Bob Wall Show, we talk business, St. Louis, and real estate. We have an awesome episode lined up, and actually this is gonna be the first of a series of episodes with, with Tom and Sherry from St. Louis Radon. And today we're gonna pretty much introduce the audience to your company, very reputable radon mitigation and testing company in the St. Louis area. And we're also gonna educate everyone on what radon actually is. So, Tom and Jerry, thank you so much for coming on to help educate everyone. Sure. Good morning, Bob. Thanks. I'll have, I'll, I guess we'll start off just having you tell a little bit about yourselves and a little bit about St. Louis Radon. We are a radon testing mitigation company. We've been in business for almost 10 years. Um, we're fully licensed and insured. And what do you think, Tom? We've probably installed close to 10,000 mitigation systems. That's quite a bit. Yeah. And done even more testing. Okay. Um, we primarily work in St. Louis County, St. Charles County, and Jefferson County. Um, I am a professional engineer. Okay. Um, my experience kind of runs the gamut, but I've always been in real estate and construction. Okay. I've um, designed residential subdivisions, I've managed their construction, as well as being responsible for the safety and environmental engineering and construction management for heavy highway projects. Okay. Doesn't get much better. Yeah, I'm a radon guy, and I have been for a long time. I'm the founder of the company, and um, prior to that, just residential construction work, and uh, here we are. Okay, yeah. awesome, awesome. What do you guys like most about being in the radon mitigation and testing business? Um, I would say we're the most passionate about educating St. Louisans and the real estate community about the dangers of radon. Okay. It's nice to be able to help improve the health and wellness of families in the area. Okay, no, for sure, for sure. And, and that's a good segue into the next question. What is radon and why should homeowners be aware of it? Sure, yeah. um, radon is a colorless, odorless gas. Mm -hmm. You can't see it, taste it, or smell it. It is a carcinogen. It's naturally occurring from the decay of radium in the ground, in the soil, and rocks. Um, it naturally seeps up in the ground. It diffuses in the air. Radon is at low levels outside, mm -hmm. but in a home, radon can accumulate to levels that can cause lung cancer. Okay. Um, with that being said, radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer to cigarette smoking. It's estimated that it kills around 21,000 people a year in the United States. Wow, I, it, I had no idea the stats were that high on that. So that's, that's very unfortunate. Um, so as far as the, are there any symptoms? Like obviously there's standard, in the state of Missouri here in St. Louis, especially anyway, I know it's pretty much standard to have radon tests. Hopefully most agents are, um, you know, having their buyers do that. But besides that, is there any, how else would you know if your home has radon besides testing? Are there any symptoms? No, Bob, yeah? there are no symptoms. Right. Outside of being diagnosed with lung cancer, there are no symptoms. So right. the only way to know if you have elevated levels in your home is to test. Okay, okay. Now, how does radon, how does radon actually enter the home? So radon is a gas, not like helium, that's going right. to naturally rise. Yeah. It'll, it'll lay latent underneath of the home until there's a vacuum within the home to bring it up. So as you're building newer houses that are tighter sealed and the HVAC systems are running and heat's rising up through the home, you're creating a vacuum within the basement area that's pulling the gases up from underneath of the slab. Okay, okay. Now what levels are considered, I know there's, we'll get into the testing part of it on an episode on one of the, an episode of one of the next ones we do, episodes we do, but what levels are actually considered dangerous of radon? So there's no safe level for radon. Okay. And in the real estate community, we'll look at 4.0 pico curies per liter and say that's at the point which you mitigate. Um, but there's no safe level, and even the lower levels can cause concern for lung cancer. And it's a linear assessment risk. So you look at the duration of time and the amount of exposure, and that would kind of determine the risk assessment. And there's full charts on it on the uh, EPA site for radon. It's epa.gov slash radon. Awesome, awesome. Well. Really good information. This is a good, um, you know, beginning episode of a series of episodes. To this one was a good one to help educate people on what radon is as a whole and introduce you guys. So I look forward to our following episodes. How can people reach you online and on social media? 
Online, we're at stlradon.com. We are on Facebook at St. Louis Radon Testing and Mitigation, as well as Twitter. Great, great. Well, thanks, guys, for coming on. And that concludes this week's episode of The Bob Wall Show. Thank you so much for joining us. Goodbye for now, and I will see you guys next week.